Hello everyone, I'm Frank. I'm host of the Not Politically Correct Tech Show. And this is my first talking hands video. Yes, I'm only gonna be talking with my hands. I don't have my dual camera set up yet, but you can kind of see me in the reflection of the GoXLR. There you are, hello, hi everyone. Anyways, yeah, so today I'm gonna be going over the uh, Samsung the 980 Pro. It comes like this, it looks like a little stick of gum. I'm sure you guys already knew that. But uh, I wanted to go over a lot of the details on this because um, uh, I was not, uh, this is a one terabyte model, and I was not expecting this to be a single sided. Single sided, even though it is a one terabyte. The reason why I, I opted for a one terabyte was because uh, the half terabyte, it gets half the amount of, uh, of throughput. And uh, I'm guessing it's some sort of like a little DDR arrangement between these two chips of NAND and the little controller here. Other things to note is that these NANDs here, actually taller than the chip here uh, i believe that's the controller i don't know what this is oh this chip this chip's even lower and uh if you don't know this about nand you don't want to cool nand these chips here and the problem with it is a lot of um heat sinks that you'll find for m.2s they'll cover the entire thing so uh another odd detail this little back sticker right here this is actually copper. You can probably see it shining right there. You see, that? yeah, it's shining. Little line. That's actually copper, so it's it's like a little heat spreader sticker. Uh, oddly, it is behind the NAND and this chip here. I believe this is the controller, so they did avoid that controller for this heat spreader. This top sticker right here is not a heat spreader though. This is just a little plastic sticker. I still haven't removed it because um, I value my warranty. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna avoid my warranty, but. Uh, it is just a plastic sticker. You would get better thermal transfers if you did remove that. Uh, what I did, however, though, on the little heat sink that I'm planning to use for this, I did, it did already come with thermal, a thermal pad uh, covering the length of this, actually covering the length of a 110 millimeter, so even a little bit longer than this. And I went ahead and trimmed it. And uh, I stopped right there, right before the NAND chips. And that was, and I'll, I'll make sure it'll only be cooling this because when I actually first installed it onto the, the block, uh, these NAND chips are so tall that uh, the thermal pad wasn't even making contact with these two. Maybe like the, maybe the little edge of, of, of this right here, but you could probably slot a piece of paper in right in between here. So uh, they're kind of cooling the wrong thing. We're trying not to cool that. So. What I did was I took a razor blade on the thermal pad because it was pre-installed onto the heatsink. And when I say heatsink, I'm talking about the uh, NVMe PCIe cards. I took a razor blade and I actually it basically just kind of figured out where. Well, what I did was I installed it, and I could see that the thermal pad did reach right up until the, well, the end of the sticker, not the end of the controller. So what I did was I took took it off and I measured yeah about how many millimeters how many millimeters the distance between the, the front end of the chip the back just until it touches the NAND and 30 38 I'm measuring 38 right now I had 36 earlier and there you go I was probably trying to avoid it a little bit more so about 30, 36 millimeter that's about fair the NAND starts to ride around there you can't see it. it starts right around there so what I did was I measured the thermal pad 36 millimeters in I sliced it with the razor blade and from there I, I, well, I removed it from the heat sink because it's gonna get in the way here Essentially what you're gonna be wanting to do with this you don't want to just install it as is and you know a year down the line You're wondering oh come on and it's not working anymore Yeah, it's because you cooled the NAND and you didn't cool the controller. So um so That's the way that I'm gonna go about it. Yeah, this build that I'm doing right now is li is literally going to be my editing PC Very interesting build because uh, it's not just gonna be one of these. It's gonna be two and uh, well, actually, It's actually gonna be four uh, six actually to be honest uh, I might I might go ahead and go all out and get six it depends on whether I go TRX or with the 570 or 670 uh, the reason why is with the 570 I don't have enough PCIe lanes to go um, with the a 4x 4x raid which, which requires 16 16 uh, PCIe lanes the Ryzen 3000 and 5000 only have 24 PCIe lanes and if, I, if I'm gonna be running a graphics card on top of that I can't run four hard drives plus two. Well, as those of you who don't know, if for editing you need three hard drives, and I'm using six because each of them are going to be in RAID in RAID zero, so it will double my bandwidth. Anyways, uh, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you like the video, and I hope you like this channel. Um, I know this was a pretty politically correct <laughs> uh, 
little video here, but um, yeah, I don't really expect to keep it that way forever. It's gotta, I gotta feel out the audience first, okay? Can't get inappropriate on day one. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching and I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, I am gonna be building a editing PC using the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic and it will be a horizontal build. I've already gotten the rubber feet installed. So it's it's already getting weird. It's already getting weird. I've, I've gotten a Home Depot vent. Uh, to, 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 to deflect the air into a 90 degree angle. I've got magnetic vent covers. That's going to be for a whole nother thing we're going to be talking about later. So anyways, hope you subscribe and um, it's going to be a fun channel. Thanks.